this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for Knockout TV. Okay, Chuck. Welcome to Knockout TV. Chuck Wefner, the Bayonne Bleeder. Does that bother you being called the Bayonne Bleeder? No, it doesn't really. I'll tell you why. I had 147 fights, amateur and pro. I was the Bayonne Bleeder. You know, I used to get cut, never knocked down, never knocked out. Except with Ali in the 15th round from yeah. exhaustion. You know what? I had 327 in the eyes. I used to get cut, but I'll tell you what. I gave 150% every fight. Hey, I did what I could do. I got news here. I held two championships, New Jersey, North American, and the NABA have a championship of the world, which they wouldn't recognize yet to be the Terrell for the title. But finally, Joe Walcott, God rest his soul, recognized it five years later. And, you know, hey, I'm who I am. I'm here tonight. And I'll tell you what, I'm here with a lot of old friends of mine. And uh, it's, it's a great night. Henry Haskup, Henry Haskup is a terrific guy. He's been carrying the New Jersey Boxing Hall of Fame for so many years, I couldn't even tell you. He's great. But he's a man. And I got news here. You are put together. What are you? What are you made of friggin' iron? Now listen to me. I got a question for you. I want to flash back, okay? I heard this story, and hopefully you'd like to talk about it, okay? You're in the dressing room, New, New York Golden Glove Finals, okay? Can you tell us that story? Yeah, I was in the, uh, the New York Golden Glove Championship. Uh, I'm sitting in the dressing room, and the door opens, and my father, Charlie Webner, who had been a heavyweight uh, sparring partner and fighter, comes in. I hadn't seen my father in 25 years since I was born. My mother and father were separated in New York when I was a year old, a year and a half old. She was pregnant with my brother. And my father came in and he said, Chuck, you know who I am? And I said, yes, I do, Dad, you're my father. You know, there's so many celebrities tell stories about their parents, their father. Shame on them. Shame on them. Because I'll tell you what. They are your parents, they're your mother, your father. Don't be telling bad stories. I'm telling a good story. My father came in that night. He said, you know what, Chuck? I used to be a New York City cop. You're fighting a New York City cop. There was 18,000 people in the garden that night. 15,000 must have been New York City cop. But I beat, I beat a New York City cop, John Sullivan, who was a terrific fighter my dear friend to this day. And you know what? My father was so proud, and I had never met him before except for that day, but I, I went on to get close to him, and uh, I paid for his funeral. Wow. You know, my, it's a great it's, story. It's, you won the it's title a great story. Great I won story. the title for the Golden Gloves. Yeah. I went on to win the New Jersey Heavyweight Championship, the North American Championship, the National America's every championship <laughs> in the world. I got Journey Terrell, who nobody knows about, except maybe Joe Walcott and some other people. But you know what? I am proud to be here tonight with so many luminaries and so many honorees. There's my wife out there. And it, it's a great night, and thank you so much for inviting me. And it's a great honor for me. It is. It's great. Now... You were the answer of our trivia question. We had a trivia question one week. The only man to knock down Muhammad Ali when he was defending his title, Chuck Webster. Yeah, now, I was, yeah. how in the world, let me ask you, how in the world, what happened when you got that phone call saying you're going to fight Ali? Well, I'll tell you the story real fast. <laughs> I was watching, I was at home, and I just finished beating a guy named Terry Hinkey for the North American Championship of the world. I, I defended, I was a champion. In Salt Lake City, Utah, Bob Hope was the MC. I went to the 11th round of a 12 round, I knocked him out, I'm down seven times. And uh, Don King said, you're gonna be fighting George Foreman. Okay. Because they figured Foreman was gonna beat Ali. But uh, George Foreman 
was not Muhammad Ali. He was the greatest of all time. Ali knocked him out. I got the shot against Ali, and Ali kept the, the promise to me that I would fight, and I wound up fighting Muhammad Ali for the championship of the world. You know, I was a little kid. I remember that fight. And you know what I remember? I saw you. I must have been probably 11, 12 years old, and I saw you at after that fight in the Elmwood Park High School. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You did a public appearance. I asked you, I was 11 years old, and I said, Mr. Wepter, what happened to that fight? You know what you said to me? You said, that son of a bitch wouldn't stay still. That was Muhammad Ali. He, he, was, he was great. He was he, great. He, exactly. You know, so that night, going in with nine in a row, seven by knockout, uh, I could have been anybody in the world. I was a great champ. The first and only time I trained full time for a fight in my life. Don King promoted it. Don King paid me. Every other fight I used to train during the day. I run in the morning and work at night. Right. I was working midnight at uh, Western Life. But you know what? I was in the greatest shape of my life. That night, I went 15 rounds with the greatest fighter that ever lived. And I said, to this day, 32 years later, I'm here tonight at the Boxing Hall of Fame Absolutely. with Henry Haskup, yeah. by the way, who has kept this thing alive. Henry, let me tell you something. President Henry, of the New Jersey Boxing Hall of Fame, Henry Haskup. Not He's only done president. a great job. Henry great, has great kept job. this thing alive yeah. because people have passed away, died off, but Henry has kept it going. Henry, you want to talk about a champion? Henry, Henry Haskup, Haskup is a great champion. That's great. We're going to talk to Henry. I have one more question, and one thing I remember about you, when you fought Andre the Giant at Shea Stadium, what in the world was that? I you mean know what? That was money. <laughs> Don King was the top promoter in the world at that time. He just promoted Ali and Foreman. He promoted Chuck Webner and Ali, which everybody thought was going to be a dud but made $150 million to Don King. Yeah. He sent me a telegram saying, Sam, thank you, so I owe you my life. That was and great. he does. I, I, went, I went and saw that on closed circuit. Yeah, I went that was, uh, and it was entertaining, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. But then I went on to fight Andre the Giant, and you know what? The guy was seven foot five, <laughs> 565 pounds. Give me a break. Yeah, you know, it was wrestling. It was wrestling. It was wrestling. It was wrestling. No, it was entertaining. It they was. wanted the body slam me. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> gonna, well, didn't he throw you outside the ring? Did he, no, he was going to buy it. No, he oh, ain't body slam. Oh, he didn't do that. I thought no, he... I don't. He could throw me out of the ring. <laughs> that wasn't part of the... No, uh, you no. didn't let that happen, yeah, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't let that happen. He threw me into the fourth row. And you know what? I went on to, you know, do many other things. You did. And you know what? That's why I'm here tonight. You are. You are. Now, also, you were the inspiration to Rocky. That, I mean, that, you know, a lot of God went on with that and that whole thing. But I'll tell you, when you watch those movies, you got to feel good. You have to, right? You know what? So I watched the movie, watched the uh, fight with me and Ali. Right. And he got the inspiration. Called me three weeks later and said, Chuck, I just wrote a script. I want to have a produced. I want you to be the real Rocky, and I was. He made $3.8 million worldwide. And you know what? I finally sued him right. three years ago, and I won the suit federal court. And for the rest of my life, I'm going to be buying drinks <laughs> at that bar and any other bar. And you know what? I'll tell you something. I love Stallone. Yeah. Stallone was a great actor. He immortalized me. He immortalized me. He, he absolutely he did. did. You are the true Rocky. Excellent. You're a living legend. I am so proud to talk to you, and I'm glad you're here. Now we're going to go to the bar. We're going to have a drink. Thank Chuck you. Chuck Webner, thanks for coming on Knockout TV. Yes, Rocky! <laughs>